Hey guys, so today I have the Astrophysics 6 inch against the Takahashi 6 inch. I got my curtains fully open so you can see as much. I got the exposure on the highest, right as it can be. I got two formulas, each on the power range. So I'm gonna try to get them as close as together in power that I can, but even doing so, um, because they have different focal lengths, it's, you know, I'm as close as I can, but there's still a little bit of difference as far as magnification. Anyway, guys, we're going to look at these two, the two top name brands in the world, Astrophys Astrophysics against that Takahashi. Now, I know the Takahashi is a TOA triplet, and the Astrophysics is an older design that's a triplet as well, but it's just a non-ED triplet versus a ED triplet. So it's not 100%, you know, but this is what I own. So I can't own physically every type of model out there, but I thought as you as my viewers would like to see how they would compare and as the difference. You've seen, I showed you guys the Evo Star 6 inch. You've seen, I've showed you the Astrophysics 6 inch. You've seen, I showed you the Mead 7 inch F9 Apple. And you've seen me do the Takahashi uh, Apple. So now, I've compared a few together. The Astrophysics uh, edged out the Evo Star. And so now it's going to go against this one. Let's see the difference. And again, same night, uh, same sky conditions, two hours minimum cooling time, maybe two hours, 15 minutes. So for these big refractors, it should be enough. And um, same magnification, same object. So whatever the night is, if it's a great night, it's both of them going to perform to their best that they can, their full potential. And if it's not the best seen night, well, they're both again on the same night. So it's not like one, one week, one, another week where one could be better sky, one could be worse sky. So there's none of that. It's pretty much as identical as we can go. Now, let me set up a little, I'll be back. Okay, I had to close one blind because it was putting too much glare on my eyepiece. Yeah, that's better. So we're going to try low power eyepiece in the Takahashi. Low power, I mean like 34 power, which is extremely low, but that's okay. Okay, let's try this again. Let's take a look. Okay. Okay. Same eyepiece. balance it again just just putting a two inch eyepiece change the balance perfect okay okay guys so at low power 35 power Saturn looks pretty much exactly the same okay this time I'll start in the uh, astrophysics mid power mid power meaning I'm about 110 power right now Yeah, at 110 power. Mm, that's a nice image. I can easily see Saturn, Saturn's moon uh, Titan in the uh, left side there on the ring, the right side, sorry, right side of the ring. I might be able to just glimpse once in a while another moon on the left side. But this one's really hard. Like it's on the edge of detection. Sometimes I see it, sometimes I don't. Hmm. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Pops in and out of view, depending. Okay, I'm just gonna study it for a second. Let's see what happens. So as close as power as I can make it. Can you see me all the way there? Or should I put it a little bit closer? Okay. Okay, put it in the center.
can study it for a second. Okay, I see the moon tighten on the side. I see the one on the left side a little bit more clear at the same power. I also see one directly to the south and one more on top of the one on the left, like a little bit up. Hmm. Pretty good focused. Okay, okay. Ah. So five millimeter. Okay, we're gonna go to a five millimeter now. I mean, I could go higher than five. The only problem, so right now I'm going to be at 220 power. The only problem is I can't go any higher. And it's not because I can't tonight. It's, it's I'm trying to match them as most as I can. So just going one focal length different changes the power huge. Um, so I don't know. I gotta stay on this one uh, because it's the closest to where I can match that one. Okay, let me study it for a second. Yeah, I can see that moon on the left and the right. Nice banding on Saturn. Normally you hear that on Jupiter. Hot, humid night tonight. Very hot. I think today reached 30 Celsius in the daytime. Just taking my time, guys. Okay, now let's try to match the power. Six millimeters, so I have to use a six millimeter on this guy. Okay, that looks good too. Wow, this is really hard to tell. Like, any differences? Okay, nice banding on Saturn two. nice Cassini division. One, one moon over here, one moon over there. And, uh, wow, that looks pretty good. Okay, you know what, they virtually look the same. I'm just gonna push the power. The only problem now is gonna be, uh, I'm not gonna be able to match power. So now let me take it 305 power in the astrophysics. I'm just gonna push the power, let's see what I get. This is 305. Oh, the eyepiece was almost par focal, so almost no focusing at all needed. Lost a little bit of sharpness, but if anybody was to see this, probably still would blow them away. Imagine if Saturn and Jupiter were at its highest elevation, like let's say in five or six years from now. Um, or 10 years, whatever, and or 10 years ago. It would have been looking through less atmosphere would be just a amazing. Okay, okay, that looks very good. On the Takahashi, I can only, I mean, I can put a three radian, and I mean, you really don't have eye pieces that go any lower than three. I mean, oh, a little bit of thin clouds coming in. A little bit of thin clouds coming in. But they're not, oh, that street light is perfect. It turns on for about 20 minutes. And uh, then it turns off for like 20 minutes because I guess it overheats. So that's actually good for me. That's, I don't know if you guys saw the difference in the light. So it's just one less light shining on me. And that's, I mean, the, uh, Jupiter is about 15 degrees away from uh, yeah, about 15, 18 degrees away from uh, that light, so it definitely helps. A little bit of the thin cloud is just starting to. Uh, come on, really? I mean, it's really, really thin, so it doesn't. It's not really blocking it that much, but I could just saw a difference in the brightness of it. 
Let's see if this one's still here. Oh yeah, just right there at the edge. So okay guys, I pushed it to 275 power on the Takahashi and 305 power on the Astrophysics. So of course the Astrophysics is a bit bigger. And uh, let me wrap up and I'll talk to you guys inside. Okay guys, I hope you liked that video. The best two name brands there is and what happened. So I appreciate you guys sticking with me all the way to the end. Oh, I forgot my coffee outside. What the hell? I better get it before any bugs go in it. Appreciate you staying till the end. And I hope you enjoyed that video. And that's it. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you on the next video. Stay tuned because you're going to miss out on some awesome videos. What? What's going on? What? You guys are waiting for my conclusion? Didn't I tell it? I didn't? You guys really want to know what the conclusion of those two outside were. Okay. Okay, guys. Basically, pick whatever damn telescope you want. If it's a low name brand, Chinese made. If it's a high quality, mid quality. Just get out there and observe. That's it. Just have fun. Okay. So, after testing those two side by side, what is it? What happened? Tie. I cannot say there's any difference, not even minute or 1% difference between the two. So, again, pick whichever name brand you like, regardless of the cost, and just go out there and observe before the planets are gone, before we die and we can't do it anymore. You know, if you, if you have a starter one, use it. If you have a mid-level one, use whatever you have. If you have to borrow one, come and see me. I'll, get, I'll lend you one for a little bit. Joe Jaguar, like, comment, and subscribe. Again, to the best name brands out there, I don't see any difference. They're both awesome. If you can afford them, then buy them. If you can't, just buy any. Cheers.